Hi, I'm Chris Travell. Welcome to The Ride. A few weeks ago, we did a post on the electric vehicle market in the U.S. And someone sent me an email and said, what do those numbers look like for the Canadian market? Well, let's take a look at those right now. The average age of new vehicle buyers in Canada is just about 50 years old. Electric buyers a little younger, hybrid buyers a little older. Uh, for gender, as we saw with the U.S., way more male for electric vehicle buyers compared to the industry as an average uh, as a whole, and hybrid buyers uh, just a little bit above where the industry average is. As far as income, not the same kind of disparity as we saw in the U.S., but still, for electric buyers and hybrid buyers, they tend to be more affluent compared to the Canadian population, the vehicle buying population as a whole. From a targeting standpoint, of course, it is very important to understand where customers are coming from. And lion's share, as we saw in the U.S., compact cars, intermediate cars, subcompact, intermediate SUVs, and so on. These are the, the top six. So a similar profile as to what we saw in the U.S. One of the key questions we ask consumers is, would you have considered an electric vehicle for your new vehicle if it had been available? And the concern we have is, as you can see, since 2009, uh, consideration has actually gone down for electric vehicles. For hybrid, the same situation. It's gone down since 2009. The only one that's gone up actually is diesel. Uh, and as you can see, that is uh, quite a substantial increase uh, from 2009 to 13. Now many, of course, are still cynical about electric vehicles. And I'm really of two minds on this. So one side of me is looking at the numbers that I just showed you, and we see how consideration of electric vehicles has actually slipped since 2009. So you have to take that into consideration. But on the other hand, even this week at the Frankfurt Auto Show, incredible electric vehicle technology is being introduced. And manufacturers are spending billions of dollars uh, for the development of this technology. So you've got consideration on one side for consumers, but you've also got all these resources being dedicated toward the development of this electric vehicle technology going forward. So perhaps that augurs well. But let me know what you think. What do you believe is the future of electric vehicles, not only in Canada, but in fact around the world? I'm Chris Travell, and thanks for joining me again today on The Ride.